Hi, Mr. Prime Minister. Um, yesterday, the clerk made it clear there are many top-level decisions in the fall with Jody Wilson-Raybould about the need to consider economic consequences if SNC-Lavalin didn't get a remediation deal. So if the public prosecutor is not allowed to take national economic interest into account considering remediation, why would you, your staff, and the clerk push so hard on the Attorney General to think about the jobs and wealth that would be lost if SNC did not get permission to go that route? One of the fundamental responsibilities of any government is uh, to look for good jobs, to defend jobs, uh, and to make sure that our economy is growing in ways that give a real and fair chance to everyone. This is something that every Canadian expects their government to work hard on, and it's a role and a job that we take very seriously. We, of course, do that at all times in respecting the independence of our judiciary, in respecting the rule of law, in upholding and defending our institutions, and we will always do that. These are the things that governments need to be preoccupied with. These are the things that we have been working very hard on to both defend our democracy and our institutions and make sure that all Canadians have a real and fair chance to succeed and good jobs to contribute not just to their families and their communities, but to the growth of our country. Um, thanks for your response. Um, so if these conversations did take place, I guess I'm wondering if you consider that to be inappropriate pressure on the Attorney General. I think one of the things that we can be uh, pleased with in this, in this country, in our system, is that we have mechanisms to look into uh, exactly those, those kinds of issues. We have an ethics commissioner who is pursuing an investigation. We have a parliamentary committee that uh, yesterday heard from the Attorney General and, uh, and the Clerk of the Privy Council which will allow parliamentarians and others uh, to uh, hear the different perspectives and understand this uh, important issue that is before them. But at the core of it is this idea that we as a government will always stand up for jobs, defend economic growth, and do so in a way that is consistent with our institutions, with the rule of law, and with the independence of our judiciary.